Welcome back to another video of adventure and craziness. <laughs> it has already been a wild morning. We haven't got most of it on camera because we've been too stressed out. We're having some trouble finding where we're supposed to be. At the moment we're running late for our bullet train. The GPS took us to the wrong station so now we're trying to catch another train to the right station. We've had plenty of dramas. Hoping we make it on time. Not sure. We've got about 20 minutes or something. 25 minutes or something like that. So. Let's see how we go. Yeah. We did leave about an hour and 20 minutes beforehand. And we thought that we just needed to catch a 30 minute bus to the train station. But that was a whole drama. And we also had to walk and all that kind of stuff. So that's why we're late. It's not because we are late people. We left an hour and 20 minutes after. We've actually found Google Maps to be pretty reliable here, contrary to what we heard. It's just typical that the biggest muck around has been on our way to catch an expensive train with a non-refundable ticket. And this train jets off at 11.30. By the way, I have no idea if we mentioned this, but this is our first ever bullet train in South Korea in our, whole, in our entire life. We've never taken a bullet train before. So this is our first bullet train that we're taking. We're so excited. Hopefully they've got space for our bags. Where do, what seat are we again? We're in 5A. 5A and 5B. Oop, do you reckon that's going to come out? Sure. Definitely not made for that size of luggage, but... Just carry on. First impressions. So it's very spacious. We've got a leg room, we've got aircon, we've got plug points, very fancy, and we've got tray tables as well. Super excited. Oh, what a morning. We've done about 15 flights of stairs with about 50 kilos of luggage. And we've walked about maybe two kilometers, I don't know. Been crazy. It's like anything with travel, it's always easier the second time you do it and you've figured everything out. So these tickets costed us 96,000 Korean won, which is around 109 Australian dollars. Really, really affordable. We are going to be traveling three and a half hours to Busan. Um, comfortable. Everything that you need. There's even Wi-Fi on here. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but there's Wi-Fi on here. Really good value. <laughs> also, honestly, we did not know if we were going to make it today. Like, I was thinking, great, we're going to have to pay more money. This always happens to us, but we made it. And everyone is super helpful. You know we're desperate when we stop and ask for directions and we stopped and asked for directions about five times to get here. <laughs>
literally on the dot. Literally on the dot. So don't be late for your board train in South Korea because you'll miss it. Check out the restroom now. So, oh, maybe some coffee there. No, it's okay. That's kind of hard. Uh, hopefully, I don't lock myself in. Toilet is just like a aeroplane toilet, I guess. Cool lights, so you can. This is actually better than the hotel that we're in. Everything that you need, really good. So this pedal is to flush the toilet, and when you flush it, it smells really good, so. Pedal to wash your hands as well. Okay, let's get out of here. chocolate dip sticks um, and water so definitely bring your own snacks if you can we are a bit hungry Sarah's very very hungry if you know what I mean very hungry we need to get food in here so why'd you click food court then I oh is that what you clicked you clicked it <laughs> Food court. Cool. Oh, they don't want to hear it. We just got dropped off by the bus and this place looks strangely similar to the to our local bus stop where we were in Seoul. It's kind of eerie. There's even a pharmacist which is called Olive Young and it, it's like right there. Apparently this is our hotel for the next 10 days or so. Doesn't look too bad for a two star. And I think this hotel is just a little bit lost. Hello. <laughs> uh, booking for David Frangos. Uh, your passport, please. Yep. 
Eleven. Yes, yeah. Checking out 29. Checking out 29th of June. Okay, yeah. Uh, nope, that's not us. Oh, yes it is. into the hallway trick. Yeah, that's really convenient, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, fancy. Oh! Lights are on. Looks nice enough. Let's <laughs> see the toilet first. It's, oh, here we go. <laughs> Same rattly aircon as last place we were in. Have to fix that up. Alright, come on in. Take these shoes off. What? We've got bathroom pockets as well. Yeah. That's weird. So it's clean. Um. Did you know we had a whole spa? I think they put us in the wrong room, to be honest. I think we got upgraded. This is a two-star hotel, and it's better than our three-star in Seoul. We got a full-on shower. Toilet is private. The other one had frosted glass, so you could kind of see going to the toilet. There's another shower in here so that we don't have to mess up the floor. Pretty impressed so far. One thing I will say is that the cleaners forgot a toothbrush. Oh. Why is someone brushing their teeth in the shower? Do any of you guys brush your teeth in the shower? Comment below. We don't want to know. Don't I think know. that's disgusting. <laughs> we can do exercise here. Didn't know it came with a computer. What? That is weird. I've never seen a hotel with a computer. The only thing I would say is that this room smells a little bit like someone has smoked in it. So... But it is quite faint. It's quite faint, which is good. And hopefully we can kind of get that smell out. But not bad for two stars. If you guys have been here since the Philippines, you know that day we got ripped off for these sunnies. You paid three hundred. That's actually come on. That's a pretty good feature. Because if you don't want all the sunlight to be blocked, you can just block <laughs> half the sun. That's not bad. Well, that's going to be it for this crazy, hectic travel day. Just quickly wanted to say that we did swap rooms because it was smelling a bit funky. Not just funky, but it smelled like someone was smoking in there. And apparently, all of these rooms are non-smoking rooms. We made sure of that when we booked it, so I'm not too sure why it smells like smoke. This one's a lot better, but it is a downgrade to what we were in before. I think maybe that all the rooms didn't used to be non-smoking rooms and now it's just kind of residual from that. Yeah. But Thank you guys so much for coming along with us today and welcome to all of our new South Korean friends on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We appreciate you guys, we love your country and we look forward to exploring more. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you did like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one.